let's go to ordering. Order better. We kind of talked a little bit about this anyway up in cooking better. So order better is just plan ahead for that eating out. I think we tend to show up somewhere so hungry that it doesn't matter what. Just, I just need to order the best thing that sounds the best right now and give it to my face so I can eat it. And so um, I think the one thing is planning because as we talked about, they're not there to monitor your nutrition and your calorie levels. Um, plan ahead meaning if I'm starving and I'm driving home from work, and I'm meeting my family for dinner, it's actually not a bad idea for me to probably grab that apple that's in my purse and eat it on the way to the restaurant, because that 60 calorie apple is probably gonna save me 500 calories in the restaurant. It's, right? Like, you know, don't save up your appetite, remember? Save up your appetite, because we're going to Golden Corral, I don't know. <laughs> 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 so, don't save. Your appetite. <laughs> you show up with a little clearer head than that. So, um, oh, it's so hard. It's a lot of nutrition is opposite of things that we've always been told and don't believe. Um, online menus are awesome. You know, if you wanted to know, you can look stuff up online. I like my Fitness Pal as an app on your phone just because it does give lots of restaurants and common foods out there. Um, I, I often don't log my food. I think that can get very obsessive. Sometimes I'll do it after a vacation. I'll log my food for a few days just to get back on track. But it is a great database of resource uh, of information because they've got all the restaurants and everything in that MyFitnessPal app. And um, there's a lot of them out there. Lucid, um, there's a lot of apps out there. They're very, they're very good about data and having you can walk in and know that that salad is 1,500 calories or this salad is 500. But they look the same. It's very frustrating. 